be your substitute teacher today. Are you ready to learn some science? I'm going to tell you about trees. You may not know, but the leaves on the trees are very interesting. I'm going to tell you why. If you were to look at the leaf through a microscope, you would see a bunch of cells called chlorophysts. If you were to look at the cell individually, you may see something called chloro, uh, chlorophyll, which is green on the side. They work as machines. They work like machines to create sugar. This happens when the sun hits the leaf. When we breathe, we exhale carbon dioxide, or O2. The leaves take that carbon dioxide and create carbohydrates, or sugar. is taken from the ground and goes through the trunks into the leaf. The oxygen is taken away, so then the carbon dioxide can be absorbed into the tree and its leaves. Have you ever seen maple syrup? That comes from a tree. And those are an example of carbohydrates from a tree. Trees are very quiet compared to actual machines, like an automobile. I'm going to tell you about the vast animals of the ocean. If you were to go 150 feet down, you may see green plants called phytoplankton. These have the same process as trees on land. Those two plants are very similar because they both give off the oxygen. Now I'm going to tell you about whales. Whales can grow up to 150 feet long. A whale's heart is 100 is 100,000 pounds. It may seem like whales are quite lazy, but they actually aren't. Whales are actually quite fast. Compared to the dolphin, they could go 120 feet down. Whales can go 195 feet down in the ocean. They can withstand the pressure of deep dives. I'm going to tell you how the whale is able to breathe under that much pressure. Oxygen is taken in by the whale's skin. By the time the whale goes all the way up to the surface, the whale is able to breathe again normally. 